from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Lance Blocker. The showers and storms are way off in the distance now, way east of us. Unfortunately, not going to impact us here overnight tonight. We're going to have a dry evening tonight. As we look outside at the KMAC sky cam right above the studio here, again, it's all clear, no rain, no storms. We wanted something. I was pulling for us didn't happen here in town. Well, what did happen today? Well, I'm going to show you just a couple of things that kind of erased our chances for showers and storms this afternoon. Look at this. If you walked outside this morning and you saw that cloud cover above you, it might have given you a little bit of hope that we could see some showers later in the day. But unfortunately, that's actually what prevented us from getting the instability we needed to get these showers and storms. The green, the rain, uh, the, this rain southwest of us is uh, helped to keep the temperatures a little bit cool earlier in the day and that cloud cover just resisted the afternoon heating. As we move towards the afternoon now, this is the radar loop from about 11 a.m. up till 3 p.m. and still seeing a lot of cloud cover around the city of Lubbock. Again, that's not what we needed for rain chances to increase. We see this disturbance begin moving southward, moving into an area that did not have that cloud cover to start the day. And we start to see a few uh, isolated storms popping up here just northeast of Plainview as well. As we fast forward a little bit now too, we'll note this is, look at this, this empty area of clouds. There's nothing here, right? Watch this as this disturbance moves in from the northeast and see how quickly this area just explodes, right? We get this nearly continuous lightning at times. And if we had had that clear sky, perhaps we would have had some of that closer towards us here in Lubbock. But unfortunately, we didn't get the rainfall. Fortunately, we did avoid the severe weather. We had a few mesonet sites reporting winds over wind gusts over 70 miles an hour, one at 78 miles an hour just southwest of Paducah. Not a good look. That's not what anybody needs, but we did need the rainfall. As I take the lightning off, you can see these storms just continued to build and push off to the east, not impacting us here around Lubbock. And a couple of showers down to the south, but again, the only thing we got was some gusty winds during the afternoon from this outflow boundary that moved through, but nothing, nothing, and we need it. And it's not, showing, not looking too good in the forecast either. Let's look around the region. This is the bullseye right here with Lubbock right in the middle. This rain came in early this morning, about a tenth of an inch or less for most, most folks. Just west of Morton picked up a little bit better amounts last night. This is 24 hours worth of rainfall. You'll notice this area here, this is where that, that severe thunderstorm moved through and then just more showers and storms this evening near Jayton. Picking up for those folks the official total there in Jayton. Take a look at that over an inch of rainfall. But look at this. This is how these storms act around here, right? We got Paducah, two one hundredths of an inch. It's like they listened to lightning and thunder all day today and they got two one hundredths of an inch. If you're in Paducah, I'm sorry. I was pulling for you on that too. But unfortunately, we're not going to see much of a chance of rainfall tomorrow. Maybe a little bit, but again, not too much, not too widespread. This is where that area of showers and storms is. It's moving off to the south. It's going to dissipate overnight tonight. And then we'll note just a couple of showers here popping up 930 in the morning and perhaps a rumble of thunder or two. I will say the models have been fairly consistent with this developing. I typically don't like this type of setup early in the morning. It popping, it's, you know, it's possible. I'm going to put us at about a 10% chance of rain for early tomorrow morning. That's about it. And unfortunately, we don't have a significant chance for the rest of the week. But for tonight here, we're going to uh, bottom out about 69 degrees, about a 10% chance of an isolated shower overnight. Forecast highs for tomorrow in the low 90s, so we can look forward to that change in the forecast. And then again, low 90s for Monday and Tuesday, and then we shift gears back into the mid 90s by the middle of the week towards the end of the weekend. Hey, don't go anywhere. We've got Red Raider Nation coming up next with Eric Kelly.